Hi, it's Liz Nedden. Let's have a look at writing a hypothesis for a relationship investigation. So there's two main types of hypotheses that we would look at doing. Either we would look for it, talking about an increasing relationship or a decreasing. Sometimes they're called positive or negative as well. So you can use whichever words you suit, which suits you. So the key thing is that we want to just have a little bit of understanding behind it. And so this is where your teacher will be able to provide some information. We can jump on to Google, we can look in the library. And the key thing is that we want to look for why. So the hypothesis is always about why would that pattern be there. So we want to summarize using our own words. So we've got to be careful that we aren't just copying and pasting from everywhere. Um, and we just want a short sentence or paragraph. Be careful about plagiarizing. So that's when we take somebody else's words and, and offer them as our own. Um, we can't do that. And some ways that we can avoid that is to paraphrase, to reword, to use quotation marks, record our references and summarizing. So those are some ways that we can avoid it. So here's an example. I wonder if there's a relationship between the vertical height that our conga can jump. So that's one of my variables, the vertical height and the height. So that's my second variable. Um, so those are the two things that we want to identify a relationship between. So I've got to think about, well, what would I hypothesize? So I've got my two variables. I need to work out which one goes on which axis. So I ask myself, if I know their height, would that help me predict how much that how tall they can jump? Or would knowing how tall they jump help me predict how their height? And what we find is we're going to put the height on the explanatory axis here, because knowing their height will help us predict how um, far they can jump vertically. And I think, I suspect that there's going to be some kind of increasing relationship, that as people get taller, the height that they can jump will also get taller. So that's what I'm guessing. And now I need to write a little bit about that. So I've said I hypothesize that as our conga grow taller, um, they will be able to jump vertically higher. So I'm being quite specific about what I want to do. I'm using both of the variables and I'm saying as my explanatory variable increases, I think the other variable, my response variable, will also get higher or increase. And then I need to give the why. So that's when I'm going to use this word because. And I'm going to say because, and I've talked about how if they've got longer legs, then they've got a higher center of gravity. And with longer legs, they can probably get more momentum to be able to jump up higher because they can bend and they can spring and push from their feet um, up higher than they might be able to if they've got shorter legs. So that's my reasoning about why that might be able to, um, why that relationship might be there. Thanks for watching.